What are you? I want to name you. Your name's Kevin. Your name's Jessica. Your name's Brian. And your name's Brandon. What's up, guys? What's up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here hanging out today doing stuff and things playing some some Donica peeps coral chunk me yo. Oh, yeah, we got those coral chunks We need some of this stuff man that way we can make bleach and that way we can make first aid kits and it's unbelievable So yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day I'm excited to be back underwater doing stuff and things I'm really excited to do a little bit more building today. It's gonna to be a good day. We're gonna start off with something amazing We're gonna build a first aid kit, but it's yeah, whatever. It's not that amazing But anywho, so I wanted to tell you guys thank you guys so much for all your support and likes and stuff on the Subnautica videos I really really appreciate it if you guys like this video make sure you smash the like button for me show your support for Subnautica It's really fun to play and I'd love to I really hope you guys are liking it too I guess so all right over here. Let's go ahead and squirt inside of there. We nailed it All right, let me see here. We got a little bit of hot salt action Wait, we don't? We don't have any... These are jewel discs. These look almost exactly the same. We got some salt in here, maybe? Is that where we got it? All right, there we go. So, all right. Uh, we'll squirt it over inside of here. Now we can get inside of this. Go ahead and make some bleach. Oh, yeah, baby, bleach! The most amazing thing that ever happened today. Uh, so, is that under tools? Or no, equipment? First aid kit. Creep vine pieces. I think we had some of those, did we not? There we go. Creep vine pieces. Bam, bam. Nailed it, Ace. It can't be stopped. First aid kit is a thing. All right. So now we go in here. Left click to use. Zerp. All right. Full health. All right. That's exactly what we wanted. We can put the rest of these inside of here. We have them if we need them. We have made a first aid kit. It is an unbelievable thing. So we got our, our, uh, our buoy here, our beacon. It says B1. I've been doing a little bit of exploring. I think it's really cool where we set up our base, but it's a little bit... It's definitely a starter place, you know what I mean? It's a little bit in inhibiting. We can't really do all the things we want at this base. Um, it's hard to build on. And one of the things, I can't remember if I re let you guys know about it in the last episode. Let me see here. Let's grab this guy. No, that's our welder. Let's grab this guy. And if we were to want to make this vertical, we need two titaniums, right? So let's grab two of these guys. Now we can make that vertical shaft. And what I kind of don't get, and I might be doing this wrong, but I'm really not, I don't feel like I am is that we can't take a vertical shaft and add it to the top of this, which is really what I wanted to do. I wanted to put that vertical shaft up top here. And it kind of looks like you can do it. Like, if you look inside of here, there's like a hatch here. It says locked. It looks like it's the thing that can be done, but I guess maybe we can't. I'm not exactly sure. So we might move around later on, but like I said, I think for as, a, as an initial base of operations, this is a pretty good spot. So, uh, one of the things I think we do need, though, it is a little plane down inside of here. So, if we take a look at different stuff and things here. We got signs we can play around with. That's kind of cool. Locker, the aquarium. So, we need two glass for this. I think we need an aquarium. So, let's go ahead and grab two glass. And let's take and build our aquarium over here. Now, we can build it, like, right here. This is good. We like this spot. I like it. All right, hold on. We're not quite even. It's not amazing. It's not perfectly amazing. There it is. No, wait. Nailed it. Nailed it, Ace! It can't be stopped! Don't know what was going on right there for a second, but we did it. There we go. As you can see, an amazing aquarium. Now, there's something kind of cool about this aquarium. Let me let you know. Let me let you know on a, on a little uh, secret here. Uh, let's find a fish. Come here, fish! Nailed it. We got him right by his little fish throat. Let's go ahead and bring him down inside of here. And then if we squirt him in there, he's inside the aquarium. Isn't that cool, man? He's our little guy swimming around in our little aquarium and our little base. Our little base just got so much better. There's nothing like an aquarium. This is the best thing that ever happened. And we're back and we have an amazing amount of diversity in our amazing aquarium, ladies and gentle peeps. Also, it seems like... Some of these guys are like mirror images of themselves. Look at those air bladders. They just kind of both do exactly the same thing. Maybe their brains aren't that much different. They just have the same brain. Maybe they're twinsies. So we have peepers, carryfish, air sacs, and hoop fish in there. 
And it's a cool little addition to the base. But we got to get serious here, ladies and gentle peeps. This is not a serious... This is a serious thing. So we need to get this guy right here. We're going to work on getting a fragment analyzer today. So to help us to build some more cool stuff. So we need a wiring kit and a computer chip. All right. So if we take a look inside of Kyan and we look at this... The wiring kit needs two silver. All right, we can do that. Computer chip needs another silver. That's three silver. Jeweled disc pieces, two of those, which we have. We have jeweled disc pieces in here. And then we need quartz for that as well, which we have. So really what we need, what we're on the lookout today for is three silver ore. So that's what we're going to go get. I'm going to go get some silver ore. I don't even, I mean, I'm just going to get some. That's how I roll. I'm a silver ore rolling fool. Silver ore, nailed an ace of can't stop. Well, we got one. So I guess it's not nailed an ace of can't stop, but we did, we did find one silver. And now we're on the search for more silver. No, stupid thing. Seriously, guy? Seriously, guy? You want to go with me right now? It's over for you. It is over? It's over, like I said. And we're back at the base, and we have our silver stuff and things, I think. Where are they here? Yeah, one, two, three silver ore, finally. These were not easy to find. It took quite a while. You can see I have an inventory full of copper and titanium now. We got a lot of stuff and things going on. I also did a little bit of exploring, too, and noticed, and I kind of didn't notice this before. I really like this little area we built in. It's kind of cool. Um, it's definitely kind of pretty, but it's also really close to the Aurora. And if I move over into that early direction, um, I get into radiation poisoning territory. Over into this early direction past the uh, survive pod or the uh, the emergency escape pod that we have um, the survive pod sounds like the name of a really terrible B movie um, over that early direction there's some really nice areas that are a little further away from the radiation we may scout those out for a building of our new base all right now we're in thanks for welcome to me in me home lady girl person all right so again what we were trying to get into was the uh, where are you guy no wait no, it is right. No, that's small storage cube. What is it that we want? How are we going to get it? It's not under tools. Where are you, thing? Oh, crap. Is it in here? Oh, no. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting. You know, this is a new addition to Subnautica that I played last, uh, is this guy. So we need the wiring kit and the computer chip. All right. So that's no problem. Let's take a look at what we got inside of here now. So now we can make the wiring kit. Nailed it. And now we need the computer chip which needs the two jewel discs and one piece of quartz. So if we grab a quartz, and then we have so much stuff now, like we're gonna need to build more storage. Let's put this copper in here. And then we need two of the jewel the discs. And nailed it, aced it, can't be stopped. So now we can do our fragment analyzer, right? Whoa, weird, okay. Uh, and we go like a so, and we go like a so, and we build a fragment analyzer. It is really strangely small. That's way, it's way different than it used to look. That's so strange and weird. Can we build it on top of the aquarium? No. Is, like, why not we just build it, like, right here? Can't quite get it centered. Can't quite, there we go. Nailed it, Ace, can't we stop? Emergency mute, I sneezed. All right, so now we have our fragment analyzer. It is empty, hold E to deconstruct. We don't want to do that. So we'll just go like this, and if we left click on the top, no, 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 no like this. Now we can squirt fragments in there. So we have a stasis rifle fragment. We have some other fragments, actually. Right here, we have the sea moth fragments. We definitely want to play around with that. We've got the workbench fragment. Let's squirt this inside of there. Oh, we have a computer chip already. Well, we have another one now. It's amazing. So can we... Fragment analyzer. So we're going to put three fragments in there. And are we going to get a little readout or anything? I think there used to be a status readout. As to what was happening. I don't know if you now need like four fragments or what the dealio is. Maybe some stuff and things have changed. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just let this sit and do its thing. Hopefully it'll analyze those fragments. In the um, older version, what it would do is um, it would analyze the fragments and it would do it more quickly based on if you had more of them. So if you had only... Uh, one Seamoth fragment, it would take a long time for it to analyze it and give you the Seamoth. And if you had four, it would be much faster. So that's kind of the deal. I didn't find any other fragments in my explorations or anything like that. So I'm um, trying to take a look here. I think we're going to take a look at... Technology created. Oh, we did it! 
Fragment Analyze. Unlock Seamoth Blueprint. All right, so we got the Seamoth now. And I'm pretty sure we're going to need to make the constructor for that. So we need a Titanium Ingot Lubricant and a Power Cell. So uh, Titanium Ingots, we can do that. That's pretty straightforward, actually, right inside of here. We can do the Titanium Ingot. It's a little costly, but all right, now we've got one of those. And then we're also going to need the Lubricant and the Power Cell. So let me see here. Lubricant is Creep Vine Seed Clusters. Psst. Nailed it. Two of these guys. We already did it. Can't even be stopped. It's amazing. Lubrican. Give it to me. And then we also needed... Hold on here. What was the other guy? Power cell. So... Oh, there it is. See? Oh, we unlocked the sea glide with that. Okay. So this is something totally weird. So the sea moth... Was I mistaken? That said sea moth blueprint, right? Which is different from the sea glide. But that gave us the sea glide too. We need the sea glide now. I can't even tell you how important this is. So we need copper wire and a battery. All right. So uh, under here, copper wire, two copper ore. Be <laughs> simple. Nailed it. Making it. Making stuff and things happen. We got it. Now we also need the battery. So I do believe that's probably un under, under here. Acid mushrooms and copper ore. Three acid mushrooms. That are Those are going to be really simple to get. They're going to be right here. These guys, right? Yep. Nailed it. And you know what? We'll pick up three more. Just in case we need to make another battery. We'll squirt down inside of here. Like a zoop. And I think we're going to need it. And the old version of the game, you could... Uh, you didn't need... Oh, we need copper ore. You didn't need batteries to recharge the Seamoth. But I think you do now. So we'll, we'll see how that works out. It was kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest with you, having to recharge your Seamoth all the time. But maybe they've balanced it out. Oh, baby, we got it, man. That's so amazing. All right, so cool. So let's squirt this, this, titanium, 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 titanium. And then for nowsies, there, put our titanium ingot, this, this, and this. Uh, and these three guys as well. So now we've got our Seamoth. So if you um, just mouse over and hit the number key you want to assign, you can see we've got the Sea Glide now on number one. Oh, oh, so much nicer. I can't tell you how much I was like, how do you get the Sea Glide when I was trying to look for the, the silver? And it says energy 98. Wow, we've already used 3%. You've got to build a lot of batteries for this thing. Oh, that stinks. Yeah, it looks like that you're on the constant hunt for batteries. I mean, they have balanced it out. The resources are much easier to get now. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to build a lot of batteries or bring extra batteries with us probably. But that's cool, man. We got the sea guide. We got some stuff and things going. It's been a good day so far, peeps. And we're back. All right. I think we're going to try to go for the constructor next. So we were talking about that before, titanium ingots. Oh, and I did look back at the video just to check, and I wasn't going crazy. We did unlock the sea glide by analyzing the sea moth fragments. That's, that is how that worked. So, all right, we want to get into the constructor. We have the titanium. We have the lubricant. We need the power cell. So then if we take a look inside of Hyan, the power cell is two batteries and a silicone. Silicone, pardon me. So we need... Let me see here. Wait, no, we're not in the right thing. Uh, let's grab two, three copper ore. I made a battery already. Let's take a look inside of here. Now we should be able to make a couple more. And we're going to need a bunch of these. So I also was reading up really quickly on the Sea Glide. It looks like it travels about 3,800 meters on a single charge of a battery. And if you want to recharge it, you got to press R with the battery in your inventory. So that's good information. Oh, sure. show. All right. So now we need some of this some of this some of this some silicone and we'll just make a couple of these guys up nope let's make a couple of these guys up i said yo all right nailed it now we go into power cell oh yeah that big boy and then inside of here we've got our titanium ingot and where did our lubricant go did not did we not make lubricant uh, i don't see it in here did we squirt our lubricant in here accidentally where did our lubricant go? All right, I'm not sure exactly what happened. Are you in the lubricant there, fragment thing, dude? Uh, so if we go into, yeah, the, wait, we made it. I know we did. That's weird. It's not in there. Um, let's go ahead and take the workbench fragment and squirt it in here, since we have some time. Analyze that, yo. And then I guess we'll just make more lubricant. 
So we need creep vine clusters, which is fine. We got two of those over here still anyway. So we're good to go with this. Like so. Crafting it up. Nailing it, acing it. Can't be stopping it. All right. So now we got our constructor. Oh, baby. This is a big, big advancement. Continue to analyze things. Let us go out. We have to use the constructor above the water, I think. I don't think we can do it down here. So we'll put it directly above our base. Probably be a good spot. We have released the constructor. This is a major, amazing thing. Ooh, what is this? Those are new. So we can left click on it to climb up. These things are totally new. That is cool, man. What are you? I want to name you. Your name's Kevin. Your name's Jessica. Your name's Brian. And your name's Brandon. What's up, guys? We got a little friends to hang out with. All right, let's head inside and look inside of here. Seamoth we really want to make. So three titanium, one power cell, two glass, and lubrican. That's really easy. We got all this stuff already. Where did our little buddies go? There they are. Okay. You guys just stay here, guys. I'm going to head down to the base real quick. <laughs> Where did they go? Oh, they're back. Hey, guys. Oh, no, don't. No. And they're back. Hey, guys. Oh, no. Now they're gone. And they're back. It's so stupid. <laughs> Peeps, we are making some giant steps forward here in the advancement of our technological stuff and things. So we, we're going to get a sea moth done in this episode as well. We got the sea glide. We're going to do the sea moth. Why wouldn't you? So we got the three titanium we need, and we have one lubricant. Uh, now we need two glass. So glass is, if I'm not mistaken, again, three quarts. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, I already have two glass. Three, four, five, six. Bam, bam. And then we need a power cell again. So that means more batteries, more battery stuff and things, right? Oh, yeah, wait, power cell. No, we've already got it. We've already could do this too. Seriously? Oh, my God. There's five Ps, man. Proper planning prevents four, 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 Proper planning prevents poor performance. I can do it. What ifs? All right, let's go up here and let's make a sea moth too. I can't wait to see if they change how the construction comes out. Kevin, Jessica, Brandon, Brian, let's do it. All right, vehicles, sea moth. They're making it. They're like constructing it with their things. I don't know how they're doing it. I feel like Brandon's just kind of taking a break. Oh, they just like squirted out little squirt juices everywhere. And then they're coming back. What's up, guys? Brian, I feel like you were kind of skirting out on your responsibilities there. You were like flying all around, kind of letting everybody else. Oh, you're the foreman. Oh, oh, so you're like organizing things. All right, go to sleep, peeps. Let's head over here and check out the sea moth and see how this works. Now, this thing was all very interesting when we first had the game. It was kind of weird to control, and it was kind of. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, we're doing it. We're sea mothing. Now, how's it go? Can you go just upside down? So if you go upside down, it just writes itself. This is so much fun. Oh, I'm going to throw up. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. All right. So that's, that's enough of that. It's enough of that nonsense. And we have we had a little bit of a health issue, but we're at 97 energy. And with this thing, I do believe we're going to need to use power cells to recharge. So... I can't even believe we've done it. Let's just take a look at it real quickly, too. They changed a little bit. I think the the glass is very blue now. It didn't used to be that way. So I think it was a little more clear. It looks pretty much the same. What's that say? Oh, not a step. God, gotcha. Look at its buckloica. It's so amazing. <laughs> and it's got its little lights on. So does it just deplete energy just by sitting with its lights on? Looks like no. We can get O2 while we're in here. This is like a huge step forward for us, peeps. We're so fast now. We got the sea glide. We got the sea moth. And we can't be stopped, peeps. So I was reading uh, reading up a little bit about this. And um, I'm not really sure if you need a power cell or a battery to charge the sea moth. So we're going to make... Uh, we need to make some silicone. We're going to make... Uh, I made a couple more batteries. And we're going to make the uh, power cell as well. Because I want to take a ride around, guys. Now that we have this newfound freedom, look at this. Look how fast we are now. 
Squirt. Zerp. Zerp. Nailed it. Bam. Mm, and we're off, man. All right, where's the Aurora? Let's go away from the Aurora a little bit and see what we can do. Now, the Seamoth, I do believe the depth we can go is 125 meters. That's as far down as we're able to go with this bad boy. But um, beyond that, we'll have to get into the Cyclops. If you guys are new, you guys got to see the Cyclops. We're going to do that probably next episode. We'll try to get that going, too. Um, but, yeah, we get unlimited air with this guy. And we can just go and do whatever we want. It's so cool, man. And really fun to explore. And the last time I played this game, going deep was really fun. We had a really good time doing that. And, you know, it's really nice, too, because you have your beacons. So you can see there's our beacon right there. That weird wispy stuff is just like the fart bubbles from the back of my Seamoth. Don't worry. It's just a little gassy. So, um, but yeah, like these areas right here, I mean, look how cool this looks, man. It's so amazing. Like, it's such a beautiful game. And it's just so fun to explore around. There's some other really cool biomes. I don't know if there's anything new. I saw a couple of screenshots that seem to show like land, which would definitely be like a new development. Um, this kelp forest areas are pretty cool. Uh, but what do we got? 82 energy? As long as I guess we don't go below 50 energy, we'll always be able to get back to where we're trying to go. So these little red uh, kelp formations or red fungus formations. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, man! I think those are new. Oh, their mouths are quite open. Uh, we're gonna pee feet out of here. Are you still with me? No, that's fine. Let's, no, we're safe. We're safe. All right, we're safe. So some of the stuff, like these little, um, these red areas seem a little devoid of life and stuff and things oh this guy this guy what are you little guy are you a peeved off guy no you're just a happy guy i remember him from last time he seems like a peep oh look how smiles he is i think he's really happy but he's also a little bit annoyed that we're like hanging out with him what's up smiles dude did you have four eyes yo oh that's one of the peeved off guys all right we're gonna we're oh whoa did you hear that did you guys hear that Such a cool game, man! It's so looks so good. Oh my god, alright, let's head over here. Oh, it's so dark now. Oh, there's a fragment. What do we got here? Let's pop out, grab this guy. Stasis rifle fragment. Oh, something's happening! Something's happening! Why did you take Hmm, okay. It sounded like we were getting hit, but we should have been good to go there. Now, I was analyzing the stasis rifle fragment already, and um, we do have the workbench fragment too, which I don't know. There's a bench that you can build, but I think that that fragment we had said workbench, which would be completely different. So um, I'm not exactly sure what those things are. Let's head back to base. I feel like we did a good amount of exploring to start with. We don't want to go too for crazy, too far, too fast. You know what I mean? Let's go back to, to home base and see what's up. And we're back at base, and it's night, and amazing, and beautiful. All right, let's head over here. Now, are you still analyzing, Analyzer? No, it's done. So did we get the stasis rifle now? Current generator, that's new. Small storage cube. So how do we unlock the current generator? Generate strong current. Okay, makes perfect sense. Tools, welder, no, no, no. I have real. We already saw all of those. I don't see any stasis rifle stuff and things, but I had put the stasis rifle blueprint in there. Oh, wait. No, I put the workbench blueprint in. We have two stasis rifles now. Maybe I got it a little bit backwards. So we will squirt these guys in there. Let that thing go. Now, does that mean... There's the bench. There's the workbench. Advanced fabrication station. Oh, man. There's more? That's so cool. That means that we've opened up a whole nother like kind of like level of stuff and things that we can do. And we have an amazing aquarium. So, all right, cool guys. That's going to be it for today, peeps. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite as you see fit. I'm going for a ride. May the stuff and things be with you.